Have you guys heard of the new viral trend, Manic Mondays? No, don't use that. Don't use that. What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are jumping into uh, something that I want to do called Manic Mondays, where essentially every Monday, we are going to just open a smorgasbord of packs. So if you guys can see right down here, we've got literally what is a smorgasbord of packs. Uh, we've got a lot of Pokemon and then some Yu-Gi-Oh. If you guys... Uh, if you guys like this idea of getting a little spicy variety every single Monday, let me know in the comments or just by leaving a like. That will do the trick too. Let's try to crush 1,111 likes in honor of our rocket break that is happening this Saturday. But yes, we have just a ton of packs. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mix these bad boys up uh, because I want this to be as manic as possible. I want I want just absolute mania. Just, just nothing but just... Ah! Uh, we're just okay, calm down. I don't. I'm just guys. I'm so excited to be doing this with you guys. I really am. I am. I am feeling so invigorated and so alive for, on YouTube in a way that I haven't felt in such a long time. So I cannot say it enough. Normally that's not what these videos are about. But thank you guys so much for all the support. I'm really glad you are enjoying this, and I hope that Mag Mondays brings a little bit of serenity to your life today, despite the mania. So we have a maximum gold on top. So yes. We're gonna be starting with Yu-Gi-Oh! And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put this here so you guys can see underneath me what's gonna be next. This is a good idea. Uh, but I am gonna have to zoom in first, aren't I? Yeah, cause Yu-Gi-Oh! is tiny. So you guys will have a little portion of view of what's going on and what's happening. But for now, we're gonna crack open up, crack, oh crack, we're gonna, we're gonna crack open a uh, maximum gold. Chase card for this pack here is going to be, uh, I want a dark magician or a blue eyes. Give me a dark magician or a blue eyes. So. Manic Monday could be anything. Uh, it could be whatever packs I have on hand, really. Uh, right now, I don't have any open magic. Otherwise, magic would definitely be here. Fire Formation, Gyokyu, and we got the Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. So, nothing crazy. We've seen this card before. Uh, and then we got Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. They're cousins, I think. They're 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 in the same-ish archetype, that's for sure. I'm going to put my hand here. I feel like this is a good spot. Okay, I think we're going to do that. And then we have Storming Mirror Force uh, and then more Gyoku fire brotherhood nonsense all right we're done with that here we go we're jumping into a hidden fates pack i'd actually received about 12 packs in the mail just loose this is my first time ever ordering loose packs on the internet i've never done that before so i'm very excited to just you know see if i got ripped off or not that's always fun for me uh, we got a code card here for you guys bam there it goes still giving those away i think it's four for hidden fates i don't remember we're gonna find out how wrong i am in a second fire steel okay brock pewter's gym giovanni's exile koga's trap golfing star you yeah uh ekans caterpie paris oh baby on the first pick of pokemon i didn't even know this card was a thing this is shiny type null bro Write me a love letter. And our rare in the pack is a foil Vaporeon. One of my favorite arts in the set. Uh, and bringing us that super wet luck uh, for this type null. Dude. Sick. That is a hit, baby. Uh, just for my collection, that's a hit. Look at that. I'm so tempted to try to collect all of, all of Hidden Fates, man. Speaking of which, we got another Hidden Fates coming up next. Which is great. This is awesome. Yeah, I, I, I was... I was gonna do Magic Monday, right? I was gonna do that, but I feel like that's done all the time. So I decided, hey, you know what? Let's do a Manic Monday. Let's just get a little crazy with it. Let's go ahead and uh, have just a variety of packs because it seems like a lot of you guys are here, not for any specific reason. Maybe me, but like, Charmander! But like, it seems like you just like watching a dude open packs. And I figured, hey, I don't really know exactly. Oh my gosh! That's a back? What is happening? Guys, Manic Monday is the best idea I've ever had in my YouTube career. Electrode, yeah, you might as well explode. This is gonna explode. Dude, I don't have this one yet either. Twilight GX. Look at this art, man. Pokemon does do it so good with their art. They really do. They do it so good. This shiny God of War GX. Secret Spring. I love it, dude. Two shinies. Back to back, bro? These packs are cracked. I'm ordering loose packs all the time now. We're jumping into a pack of Vivid Voltage, the latest Pokemon set. If you guys don't know, 
if you're just a Yu-Gi-Oh watcher and you're trying to see if I get my Dark Magician. This is also an attempt to bridge the gap. Some of you guys only want to watch Yu-Gi-Oh. Some of you only want to watch Pokemon. You know what? I spent money on this stuff. All right. You're watching it. <laughs> you're watching it. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's too funny. Uh, fire. Water. Always water, dude. It's always water. Sableye. Galvantula. Uh, Go Goat. Clefairy. Whalmer. Tynamo. Executes. Chat Tots. A reverse foil memory capsule. And our rare in the pack is Go. It's gonna be an egg slash V. All right. Not a huge hitter. Not a huge hitter. But it is a hitter none the less we take those wow dude i actually gotta put my did i, I didn't get a Yu-Gi-Oh hit right so far Yu-Gi-Oh is the only thing that's let me down that's tough dude we have another vivid voltage here another vivid voltage man i really you know because i, I want to try to figure out some like different ways to do what i'm doing uh and i mean just it's such a simple idea right the idea of opening a mixture of packs but hopefully you guys are down with this and i don't need to please some sort of like uh i don't know strict code of no you must you must open all the same pack in every video to please the algorithm. I don't want that. This Joltik is electrifying. Our reverse foil is going to be that Beedrill. I actually already have a reverse foil Beedrill, but our rare in the pack is going to be a non-foil Samurott, sadly. Sadly. All right, uh, we got another Vivid Voltage. It looks like our Vivid Voltage didn't have a good time in the shuffle party. They were, uh, they wanted to stay near each other. They were, they were dependent on each other for support, and I respect it, and I'm not going to force them apart. If they, if they worked this hard to be together, there's got to be something valuable in one of them. They're protecting something here. Rainbow Chonkachu, perhaps? Who knows? Uh, Winden Stadium. Zeb Stryka. Excadrill. Picky Peck. Mudbray. Joltik. Weedle. Tailo. A Giraffer Rig Reverse Foil. And our rare in the pack is going to be a Whimsicott. Also wanted to say, you guys are loud and clear. I will definitely be working. Um, I will be working binder updates into the channel for sure. I'm actually working on sleeving the stuff that I've pulled so far, like mainly Vivid Voltage, uh, Champion's Path. And like, I'm mainly gonna do binder updates on Pokemon cards for now. Cause Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm not, I'm not actually collecting Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm, I'm, I love pulling them. I'm gonna collect anything that's nostalgic. Like there's a couple nostalgic cards that I'm keeping for myself. Like, I had pulled a uh, Golden Monster Reborn on our stream. Uh, I haven't pulled a Harpy's Feather Duster. I wish I did. But anything that's nostalgic, I'm going to keep. Everything else, I'm going to flip over to my uh, to my local LGS and see if they want to push it for me. Fanpy is our reversal, and our rare in the pack is going to be a Perserker. These cards look extra crispy today, dude. I don't know if there were some settings that changed on my camera, but I, guys, let me know. Am I, am I bugging? We have ourselves a maximum gold. Once again, we're really looking for... Uh, gold nostalgic cards. So we want to see the Dark Magician, the Blue Eyes, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. I'll take a Harpy's Feather Duster. I'll, I will. Extra Foolish Burial in case. Yes! We got it! That's just what I said, isn't it? Dude, is this is this misprinted? Wait, this is misprinted. Dude, look at this misprint! Is that going to be a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know the gold printings have had a lot of issues. Um, so I don't know if this is a misprint enough to warrant, but look at the border, man. This might just get an off center, but even the interior border of the card is messed up. Wow. Dude, we take those. I got to sleeve that up. We got a silent angler. We got a shared ride and we got Rhoda. Uh, is it Rhoda? Reinforcements of the army. It is Rhoda. There we go. Now, this foil comes through much better. Um, and you can see, this is the normal border, right? Like, it's not covering any of the words in the bottom. It's the same texture. Like, compare that to the Harpy's Feather Duster. Take a look. Even the border, like, the right border of the Harpy's Feather Duster, it's, it's got, like, a little foil border. Dude, this Harpy's Feather Duster might actually be worth some serious cash. I got to find out. I got to talk to my local. I got to talk to my locals. Dude, that's crazy. I don't want to sell it, though, because it's the, it's literally the nostalgia. Mage power. I wish this was a gold rare. That would be so hype. Hidden temples of the Necro Valley. Dude, let's sleeve up that Harpy's Feather Duster in a... Uh, I mean, I only have the, thick, the big sleeves right now. The big penny sleeves. But this could be... I don't know. There was a misprint monster born that sold for like 3,500. It had like a whole other card printed on it. And you could see the, the gold of the feathers also misplaced. So this could, this could potentially be a super expensive card. I'm literally going to send it to my... I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. 
I would, I think I would want to trade it for a gold Harpy's Feather Duster of my own and then sell it for the difference. I'm sure gold Harpy's Feather Duster is probably not a lot. We have a champion's path here. Is this our first champion's path of the day? I'm not sure. Uh, one, two, three, four. Obviously, biggest hitter out of champion's path is going to be that shiny Charizard. Uh, and yes, he is a fire type for sure. Rotom Bike, Machoke, B Drill, Carvana. We have a Potion. Volpix, Machop, Roly Coley, a Malamar Reverse Foil for the binder. And our rare in the pack is going to be an Alparia. So nothing crazy there. Nothing crazy there. We actually have a couple of Phantom Force that snuck in here. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Force is the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG set. Uh, it has Starlight Rares. That is the that is the true chase, chase card. There's a couple Starlight Rares in here that are all worth over $200. So if we can snag any of those, it's a win. It is a big, ah, we just got Captain Oliver. Captain Oliver is not a hit, guys. I hate to break it to you, I really do, but it is not a hit. And the rest of the cards in this set, they really don't matter too much to me personally. We're back to the gold. And now that we, now that this box had one misprint, there is a chance that, 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 that I can't, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe these pulls already, dude. The shiny Gardevoir, the shiny type null. A misprinted Harpy's Feather Duster that literally might pay for my mortgage. Here we go. We got Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion as our gold rare. I really appreciate this art. I think it's super cool. I really like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see a Cyber Dragon Core. Straight up Duel Links for me. Uh, Synchron Carrier. And then a Laundry Dragon Maid. Good foiling on that. But unfortunately, just not a super valuable card. Uh, we got Hey Trunade. More Duel Links for me. And then Mecha Phantom Beast. Uh, support. Now we have another Champion's Path has made it through. I really like Manic Monday. For someone like me that just wants to see a variety of arts, uh, I really like it. I mean, there's something special about cracking a full booster box, but I just didn't have any booster boxes on hand that I wanted to crack and op crack open for today's video. And we've been doing going so strong with daily videos, and you guys have just been crushing the support and really enjoying spending your mornings with me or your afternoons and evenings, whenever you watch. A lot of you guys are here right in the morning, though. And I, uh, I appreciate that. It's actually weird. The, the, if you're if you're subscribed and you turn on the bell, you guys have no idea how much that can actually help propel this channel and get us to the point where we're going to be going ahead and buying some crazy, crazy retro stuff. I already have a couple videos planned that I've already picked up some some products for, uh, but they're not expensive. They're just retro and they're they're from my childhood. So look forward to that. Our rare in the pack is a Zygarde. Uh, but I, I heard something interesting today. You guys essentially set the pace for this channel, right? Like I have the vision of what I want this channel to be. I, I want to open cards. I want to collect them. I want to do binder reviews. I want to get some retro stuff in here. I want to collab with people. But you guys kind of actually set the pace uh, by your support, by hitting the like button, by leaving comments. So I know there's a ton of you guys that are super supportive of this and enjoy this content and want to see more of it. Fire. Oh, baby. You already know. Pokemon Center Lady. Pop. We have a Beedrill here. Trubbish. See, look at how giddy he is in this set. If we see the Trubbish in Vivid Voltage, you guys can understand why I'm so sad about it. Potion, Galarian Lanoon, Nickets, Machop, a, a Turffield Stadium, and our rare in the pack. Oh, baby! Dreadnought Rainbow. So, unfortunately, not the chunk, but we take rainbows for days, dude. Dreadnought VMAX Rainbow Rare. This is like an incredible amount of serotonin. This is actually an, a nutty amount of serotonin uh, in this video. It's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous. We're going back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Rage. Uh, actually, this looks like we got a lot of Phantom Rages in a row. So just buckle up. Um, buckle up for the Starlight Rare. Because we're like, we're hitting it right now, dude. We're hitting all of the good things. So it would only make sense. Uh, we have ourselves a Gimzer Mikami right here. And then our uh, rest of the pack is nothingness. So we don't have to worry about it. We got Blossoms, baby. We got Blossoms for days. You need Blossoms? Is it Valentine's Day where you're living? Because Valentine's Day changes across the world. Of course, we all know that, obviously. So if it's Valentine's Day where you're living and you need some Blossoms, do I got a card for you? I got a real card for you. It's this one right here. Uh, we have a My Humate Lulu Virtual World. I think this is actually somewhat of a hit. I can't remember if it's Lulu or if it's one of the other Virtual World girls. But one of them. The foiling is just so sick. Ah, oh, so cool. Yu-Gi-Oh foiling is legit man i really love it i am excited to jump into magic 
Uh, we will 100% be opening up some magic cards this week. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Magic has some of the coolest artwork. If you've never really sat down and looked at magic cards, I hope you check out that video because you'll grow such an appreciation for the card, whether you want to cards, whether you want to play the game or not. Uh, it's, it's just such a pretty card game. We have Mutant Mist, also known as Mutant Whiff. Despite how pretty that foiling is, it's still a whiff. No matter what, I'm feeling suppressed. Here we go. We're back to Hidden Fates, shiny Pokemon, here to please you. Let's grab some shiny Pokemon straight up. I'm trying to see that right now. I'm trying to see it right now. One, two, three, four. Uh, we're gonna go with water. Woo! I'm out here, far-fetched in, graveling, chanceying. Uh, we got Voltorb. Cubone, I still love this art so much. The background is just so good. Yeah, dude. Eevee, Jigglypuff, another Geo dude. That's our reverse foil. And our rare in the pack is a Mewtwo GX. Dude, what is happening with this? These Hidden Fates packs are actually ridiculous. They are, they are entirely cracked. And speaking of which, we have another one coming up right here, dude. Our polls today have been nutty. Thank you, Shady Penguin Brain, for thinking of Manic Monday. I think it gave us some seriously good luck. Ah, I really hope you guys do enjoy this variety. It's obviously different. I would only do it on Mondays. I'm not gonna make a habit out of this. I know some people probably do actually like the structure of knowing like, hey, this is all Yu-Gi-Oh, this is all Pokemon. But I figure Manic Mondays is a nice way to just, you know, get both, get both parties in the room. You know, we're all people, we're all humans. We all have a card addiction, it's okay. And I love how many of you guys have said that you're living vicariously through this channel. But honestly, I love that. Cause if you are really getting that insane satisfaction when I get a hype pull without having to spend the money, honestly, that's great. That's so good. We got a reverse foil energy. I actually don't know if I've gotten any reverse foil energies from this set yet. It's very clean. I really like it. And our rare in the pack is a, I'm actually gonna sleeve that up as a Mr. Mime. I'm gonna sleeve this energy up because it's super clean. There's a lot of, uh, it looks like I just saw a bunch of scratches on there. I don't know if you guys can see them, especially now that it's in the sleeve, but right above the leaf right here, there's a lot of scratches. Oh, there you can see in that light right there. That's a shame. All right, our last maximum gold of the day, ladies and gentlemen, our last maximum gold. Can we get the dark magician or the blue eyes? Please, 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 please. I'm begging you for them. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for the most short printed cards in the set. We have a Gear Gigant X. We have a Barrel Sword Dragon. It's not Barrel, it's Barrel Sword Dragon as one of our gold rares, which means absolutely nothing to me. Then we have a number 15, and we got a Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. What a name. Oh my goodness, what a name. I have no idea if this is a hit, but you know what? It's not because it's not Dark Magician and it's not a Blue Eyes. And that's what I wanted to see was one of those two. All right. Final pack of the video is going to be this Champion's Path. Inside this Champion's Path could be the shiny Charizard Rainbow Rare. Is it technically a shiny Charizard if it's a rainbow? No, wait, it's not. No, it's yeah, it's not rainbow. It's sparkly. It's in this pack, there could be a shiny Charizard. Dude, sometimes I don't know how I got this job. I don't know why YouTube hired me to, to talk into a camera. Like my my way with words is that of this ink case. I'm pretty sure that my vocabulary is on par with this ink case. If not, this ink case might even have a better vocabulary than me for all I know, honestly. All right, here we go, fighting. Let's get it for our final pack. Rotom bike, suspicious food tin, Hyperpotion, Inke, Hatina, Kakuna, Kakuna Matata. Oh, DMCA, yeah, don't do that. Vulpix, Reverse Foil Nicket, and our rare in the pack is a Darulodon V. I actually don't have this card. So this is great for my collection binder, dude. This is great for my binder. We got ourselves a Darulodon. Nice, we take those. All right, why don't we review our hits for the day? Uh, I don't think I can go in order, which I got them because I kept the Harpy's Feather Duster out. We're gonna go backwards. Of course, we just saw we did get this Darulodon here. We have ourselves this Mewtwo GX. We have our Rainbow Rare Dreadnought VMAX. Uh, and then we have our Aegislash V, which is a smaller hit, but I wanna count it because it's still a V card. 
We got ourselves our shiny Gardevoir GX, which is beautiful. And then we have our shiny type Null. A little bit less noticeable on the shiny, obviously, but um, not the actual card itself. You know that this is a shiny Pokemon because it's in the shiny vault sub subset. Uh, and then of course, our only Yu-Gi-Oh pull of the day was this Harpy's Feather Duster, which I don't know if they're gonna count it as a misprint or not enough, but I, I, I feel like it might just not be cool enough. Like the Monster Reborn was crazy, so someone paid 3,500 for it. This might not be cool enough to be considered a cool misprint where it's just, hey, no, this is just a factory error. No one cares about this. But I feel like they should because having that foil border on the side, I think is really cool. Like that white, but it catches some of the foiling. I don't know. It looks really cool. And that's going to be it for this video today. Thank you so much for joining me for the very first Manic Mondays. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like down below. Hit subscribe as well if you haven't already. We upload daily TCG content and I have some really fun stuff coming your way. I'm talking super retro card games that you might not even know have existed, but really filled my childhood with a lot of joy. We're going to have binder reviews. And of course, we're going to be cracking the latest sets from all of my favorite card games. Uh, at the very least, they're my favorite to look at. So even if I don't play them, I'm talking Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. And yes, I will be cracking Digimon in January. Don't you worry about it. But for now, let me get out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady.